Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the official FIFA 23 team of the year, and I'm going to be giving you guys some price predictions as to how much I think this team of the year will cost on day one when they're released in packs, and then towards the end when the whole team is in packs and their prices are a lot cheaper. I'm going to give you two price points for every single player in the team, and of course, we have to talk about how this team of the year might be the cheapest team of the year that we have ever seen based on the official ratings that were just dropped and just how the market is these days in FIFA. It might be one of the most affordable team of the years ever. We're also going to look at the honorable mentions and some potential guys that could be in the 12th man vote and shout out some price predictions for those as well. Basically, what I want to do this video is help you figure out an idea of how much you might need to spend to afford a team of the year card of your liking. So without further ado, if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is going to be a short one. So buckle in. And we just got these ratings posted literally like 20 minutes ago. EA posted on their website the official ratings for the team of the year. And what's the surprise? Again, the ratings are low. This is the lowest rated team of the year I think we've ever had. Only one 98 rated card, and that is messy. We have a couple 97s, and then after that, some 96s, some 95s, and a couple 94s. It's just not like the old days where team of the years were 98 and 99 through almost the whole entire squad. We missed those days for sure. But nonetheless, these cards are going to be juiced. They are going to be very hype. And a lot of people, like myself included, are going to want to pack them. They're also going to be pretty expensive. Even though we're saying the cheapest team of the year ever, the whole market is so much cheaper than it was in previous FIFA. So let's start at the top, the attack. Let's start at the top and go through some of these cards. First of all, number 97 Mbappe, 97 rated Mbappe. How much do I think this Mbappe is going to cost? If we look back at last year in FIFA 22, his team of the year card was 97 rated as well. And it started out at a crazy price of 8 million coins with Mbappe being so overpowered last year. He's probably just over overpowered this year in terms of a comparison. I think that Mbappe's card this year is probably going to be around the same amount. He already has a promo card that is four and a half mil, a 2.7 mil promo card. I would imagine this Mbappe is going to be somewhere around that seven and a half to eight million coin range right away. But as he drops down and is in packs for the, the next week, I do expect the Mbappe this year to probably get down just like last year into the six million coin range. He is absolutely going to be the most expensive card in team of the year. Now, what could make him even more expensive is if they give out some extra weak foot boosts, right? If they do a five star, five star Mbappe, we're talking maybe a nine mil card. Seriously, that much more for that extra weak foot. You guys remember the foot birthday Mbappe a couple of years ago, that card was so overpowered. Just imagine a 97 Mbappe with a five star weak foot. That would be absolutely nuts. And that would make his price be a lot more expensive, I think. So I'm going to guess between seven and a half to eight and then all the way down to about six. Let's move on through the attack. Benzema. Speaking of weak foot or skill move upgrades, that's huge for Benzema's card as well. Of course, we currently have a Benzema card in the game that is a 92 rated winter wild cards with five star skill moves. I don't imagine that they will give the team of the year Benzema five star skill moves, but I could imagine them giving a five star weak foot to this card. He's 97 rated. It's going to be, of course, a very hyped card that a lot of people would like to use. Probably a big pace boost, hopefully on his card too. Maybe we get towards 90 pace. And that five-star weak foot would be fantastic. So I'm going to go with the price for Benzema around about two and a half million coins to start off with. And then probably dipping below two mil or staying right around two million coins once the full team is in packs. I feel like it's a pretty good comparison to the Lewandowski that we had last year. Last year, But Lewandowski, I think, was cheaper because he didn't have as hype or as good of links. And since there are so many other Real Madrid players in Team of the Year and in FIFA that are just really, really hype. And Real Madrid just brings a lot of hype and a big community of fans that want to use a Benzema card as well. With the France links that Benzema has. I feel like he's going to have more hype than Lewandowski did last year. I think he still will maintain a price probably around 2 mil, maybe a little bit less, but around 2 million coins seems right for him, especially if they give him a five-star weak foot as well. Of course, if they give him skills and a weak foot, we could be talking more. If they don't, we could be talking less. Just kind of depends on what the final card is that we will see tomorrow. Let's go to 98 Messi. Just like we've seen in previous years, 98 Messi, literally the exact same card that we had last year was 98. I don't know if they're going to mess with the work rates. That's my biggest thing with this card. Messi's base work rates this year are low, low. I really hope that they give Messi high low like they did with the 94 rated card. Last year, he was in 3.4 mil. Started off at about 4 to 5 million coins, though. I think that Messi this year 
is going to be a little bit cheaper just because the whole market's a bit cheaper. And of course, um, you know, the Messi card this year in FIFA just doesn't seem to be as insane in terms of the meta. So I'm going to go with a Messi price of somewhere from starting around four, four million coins and maybe even being one of the cheapest team of the year Messi's we've ever seen. I mean, you remember the olden, the olden days of Messi being at his cheapest for 4.2 million coins when he had a 99 rated card two years in a, in a row. This is when team of the year was at its peak. Honestly, guys, Messi 99 rated with 97 pace. Um, even with the medium, medium work rates then, like absolutely insane, insane cards. And, and this is what we have now, right? The 98 rated, not as big of a stat boost. I'm thinking Messi this year is going to be somewhere around the three to three and a half million coin range in that full team aspect, but starting off around four million coins. Let's go to the midfield, right? A lot of really interesting players in here. Jude Bellingham, one that a lot of people would like to get in their squad. I think Jude Bellingham is going to be the second cheapest midfielder. I think Modric will actually be cheaper than Jude, but th that's because I hope they give Jude a really, really nice boost. Now we have a Jude Bellingham card this year, of course. This is his first team of the year, and um, he, we don't know the stats, of course, but he's getting a plus five boost over his Phenoms card, so we could suggest that this is maybe going to be a plus five plus six in all different stat categories. So he is going to be teetering on the edge of being club 90. He's going to be one of the best complete midfielders in this game, probably like 88 pace, 88 shot, and then 90 plus everywhere else. If they give him 90 pace and 90 shooting, this Bellingham could be very expensive. But my price prediction for this card, since it's a bit more difficult to link him in terms of the leagues, I'm going to guess this Jude Bellingham still is going to start off around maybe 1.7 to 2 million coins, but then he's going to drop off to be a million coins flat, maybe even a little bit below a million coins if the juice isn't that big. But somewhere around like the 1 million coin range, maybe 1.2 but starting off maybe around like 2 million uh, and then dropping down from there. I just think there's going to be a lot of hype with Jude getting a team of the year. And I mean, this Phenoms card for a long time was like 600K uh, in early December. So he's been 500K since then. I would imagine that his price was team of the year card would double that. Um, and, and maybe then some, of course, with the stat boost that he could have. Let's move on, right? Modric is another really big name that a lot of people are excited to see in this team of the year promo. 96 rated for Modric. Of course, just like we have great memories of um, the Messi cards and 99 rated Messi's from years past, we have had some really insane Modric cards in the past couple of years in Team of the Year, specifically the 99 Modric and even the 96 Modric in FIFA 18 was really good, but he's nowhere near going to be this, this expensive from his Ballon d'Or year when he was 3 million coins. I'm looking more towards the range on Modric, somewhere around the 1 million coin range. And again, just like Jude Bellingham, maybe starting off a bit more expensive. It depends on the stat boost, but probably teetering around that 1.5 mil range. I mean, honestly, for a start price, 1.5 mil, but then maybe going under a million coins. I think Jude's going to be more expensive than Modric, even though his rating is a bit lower. I think that Modric card might just be a little bit less desirable to some, unless they give him some big boosts or skill move upgrade or something like that. But I think Modric is going to end up being around a million coins, maybe a little bit under, maybe even like 800k we'll have to see he might be our cheapest midfielder this year uh and then de bruyne right de bruyne's team of the year cards they're always saucy i mean last year he had a really really nice team of the year as well it was club 80 with the 80 defense it was a really really big boosted card he started off around 2.4 dropped down below two kind of the 1.85 range after that with a kdb this year being 97 I think that could mean maybe even a higher juice than this card that he had last year. I'm hoping that Kevin De Bruyne this year is somewhere around the 2 million coin range, even with the market being a bit cheaper. I know Kevin De Bruyne's got the really awesome 99 physical winter wild cards item. Hopefully they give a big pace boost on that. Uh, keep the physical, not 99, but keep it pretty high. Keep the passing and dribbling stats, of course, really high as you'd expect. I'm going to say Kevin De Bruyne this year somewhere around about 2 million coins to start off, but then dropping to about 1.5 while he is in packs. Now, let's get on to probably the cheapest part of the team in the defense. And we're going to start with left back Teo Hernandez. There's a lot of hype around Teo Hernandez's special cards this year. He's got the team of the tournament card that is 450,000 coins after it was 600K a couple of weeks ago. And that makes me think that Teo is going to be the most expensive of the two in terms of the outside backs. I think Hakimi is going to be cheaper than him. And since this is Teo's first team of the year, I'm going to say Teo is going to start off at about 1.2 to 1.3 million coins. I think he's going to end up going under a mil, probably around like the 
eight to 900K range, but then he might even rise up after he's out of packs just because that is gonna be one of the best left backs in the game, probably the best left back in the game, at least for the foreseeable future. And I think people would be very willing to pay around a million coins, maybe 800, 900,000 coins for that. We'll go to the right side. We'll look at Akimi. Of course, we can take a look at his card last year. I absolutely loved using this card. 93 rated last year, 94 rated this year. I really hope he gets the 80 shooting again. Hope he gets all 90s in the dribbling and the defense categories. Of course, we already have a Phenoms Hakimi. Multiple of these guys that are getting into team of the year, we have uh, Phenoms for it, right? This card was 368K at the time of this recording. He was 460 at his peak. And of course, he's dropped down since then. But especially with the Ramos flashback SBC there to consider for this Hakimi card. And of course, you got a lot of PSG hype. I could imagine this Hakimi being around the same price as last year, even with a cheaper market, right? I do believe Hakimi will be somewhere around the 550 to 600,000 coin range like he was last year. Probably in the what we you would call like the peak uh, or the lowest point, not the peak at all. Like the lowest point for his price last year was 650. I think even though he's higher rated, the market being cheaper this year, I think he'll be about um, 550 this year, 650 last year, as you can see. So I'm saying 550k for that low price for Akimi, and his starting price probably around like a million coins, maybe 900k as people pack that card. Probably going to be Hakimi and Courtois would be the most commonly packed team of the years out of this promo team. Let's go to the two center backs because they are pretty massive. VVD, 96 rated. Of course, has not had a team of the year in the past couple of years. He's already had a really, really big World Cup stories card this year with a nice juice, nice boost. This is a card that people say is the best center back in the game. He's 890K. He was just over a million coins recently. He was even over 1.4 million coins earlier on in December before he was re-released back in packs. Uh, but... With that being in mind, and with this Van Dyke hopefully returning to the VVD Team of the Year uh, days of old with high 80s pace. I mean, FIFA 20, we had 88 pace. We had 85 uh, in FIFA 21. In FIFA 19, he had 84. So since this card already has 83, fingers crossed that this Van Dyke with a plus 4 overall upgrade over this card would potentially have like 86 pace, maybe 87 pace. And I think that would be a shout for probably the best center back in the game. And I think that this Van Dyke card will end up costing uh, and showing that price, right? Especially with the pro hype that's gonna be there for this VVD. The team of the year VVD that we had in years past were really, really expensive. When he had a 99 rated card, he was still 3 million coins. Now again, different year, different market, of course, but I think this VVD this year is gonna be the most expensive defender. He's gonna be somewhere around the range of a start price of two to 2.2 million coins, and then dropping off while he's in packs to about 1.7, and then maybe rising up after that. Again, I really think that some of these defenders are gonna be elite enough that they will eventually rise up out of packs, maybe not for a long time, but for a little bit. So Van Dyke, 2.2 star price, maybe dropping down to about 1.7, 1 1.8, uh, just because he's gonna be so overpowered. The other center back in here is a new one. Eder Militao, first team of the year for him. Of course, there's going to be a lot of hype for his card as well. Again, a lot of Madrid hype here. Militao, Benzema, maybe some other Madrid cards uh, in the honorable mentions or um, you know stuff like that. Maybe in the 12th man voting, which we'll get to in a second as well. Uh, Militao, if I had to guess, he's pretty comparable to the Marquinhos of last year, but you know he's just not, right? It's also a completely different card. Last year, Marquinhos was started off at about 2.5, went down to about 1.5 million coins. I think that Militao is going to start off cheaper because he's a little bit lower rated, and I think he's just going to get packed a bit more than Marquinhos. His base card is lower, right? Militao, 84 base. Marquinhos is like an 88 base, so I would assume that Militao is going to start around 1.7 to 2 million coins and then end up dropping to about 1.3. It does depend on the stats, though, because if this Militao has like 92 pace or, you know, like above 90 pace and not just above, but like way above 90 pace, uh, it'll be an absolutely massive card. We're getting a plus six upgrade. He's got 87 pace. He could have 93, 94 pace in this card, and that will be insane. I think he will be very, very hyped and very, very in demand. So I'm going to say around 1.3 to 1.4 at his lowest point, but I could see this card even being more expensive if the hype 
is there. And then finally, in net, Courtois. Goalkeepers are always cheap, right? We've seen that the past couple of years. Donnarumma last year with all the PSG hype and links that were in the team. I mean, he went down to about 220,000 coins while he was in packs. And um, I think that Courtois is going to be in that same threshold, maybe starting off at about 500k, but then dropping down to about 250, maybe 300,000 coins with all the Real Madrid links that are out there. Again, a lot of hype. But again, guys, just the bottom line with this team is it's not insanely hyped because the ratings are just not what they used to be. And especially if you played FIFA in the old days or not even the old days, like three or four years ago, you know that team of the year is a lot different now than it used to be. Still great cards, still amazing. I hope EA threw out some skill move weak foot boost in there. That would absolutely help the cause as well. Now, I want to talk through a couple more things because we do have some leaks about the 12th man vote and I want to put some cards and show some cards to you about the 12th man and team of the year. Last year, we had Ronaldo. This year, we have Valverde, Holland, and Cancelo. So it is going to be a vote, obviously. Um, and this one's kind of tough because a lot of people really wanted Valverde to be in team of the year as a midfielder. But I really feel like Holland, in this particular vote, has the biggest chance to win just because of the name of Erling Holland because of the amount of votes that he's going to get being a Premier League card. I know we have Cancelo in here as well, but let's be honest, guys. When is a defender going to win out of these uh, in these conditions, right? I feel like it's Valverde or Holland, but I really feel like Holland might end up being that guy. And it's tough when you think about an Erling Holland team of the year card. We've got the ones to watch, which is a 90 rated card. It's 800,000 coins. I mean, this guy's been 2 million coins from earlier in the year. He was 1.3 most recently in December. I feel like our Erling Holland team of the year is probably going to be around 94 or 95 rated if he gets a card. And with that rating being there, I do believe that he could be somewhere around that 1.5 to 2 million coin price range. The 12th man is always a little bit more rare too, right? Because it doesn't get that first session in packs. Of course, Ronaldo's 12th man card last year was very, very expensive. It was 6.9 million coins. Uh, nobody is going to be up there except for Mbappe in this year's range. But if I had to guess, Erling Holland somewhere around... I don't even know, man. Maybe starting off at 2 million coins, maybe getting down to like the 1.5 range. Uh, but that would be a card that would probably be pretty disgusting in a good way uh, on this game. Now, I do have some graphics here that I want to show you. And we had a whole thing planned out. Um, shout out to Yaz who made these graphics. I'll put his link down below in the description of this video. We had a whole thing planned out where we're going to do nominees and predictions. And I didn't get around to this until too late. And EA posted the ratings officially. So some of these, of course, are not going to be nominees. Uh, but big shout out to him for making these graphics that look absolutely unbelievable. Fede Valverde is in the vote for 12th man. So he will most likely not get a nominee card unless EA say, hey, we're going to put some of the nominees that don't win in the vote, like either Cancelo or Valverde, um, into a nominee or honorable mention type card scenario, right? Lewandowski, Mane, definitely players that could have had really high vote tallies that could get into the honorable mentions or team of the year nominees second week, right? We, we imagine that these cards will be dropped uh, the second week uh, after the full team of the year is in packs. Lewandowski, of course, would not be as juiced as his card was last year. That card to me looks somewhere around like a 500k card. Doesn't look that expensive to me, but again, a small boost, smaller boost in these team of their honorable mentions. Amane would probably be somewhere around like 700k to my liking, just a plus one over his ones to watch. And we can talk about Fede Valverde as well, because if he were to win that 12th man award, he would probably get a really juiced card, and that one would be pretty expensive. I would say a Fede Valverde team of the year 12th man would be around a million coins, but the less juiced honorable mention that Valverde card would most likely be, I think, about 750 or maybe even 600k. Uh, depending on how the stat boosts look. A couple more honorable mentions that could be in that didn't make the final squad. Marquinhos, if we get another Brazilian center back. Tomori could be an absolutely insane card. I know we just had the winter wild cards, but you never know how EA is going to work in honorable mentions or nominee system. I would say Tomori somewhere around 750k. Marquinhos somewhere around 650k. And I really hope we get a Cancelo card, whether it's an honorable mention or if he somehow miraculously wins the 12th man vote, which is probably not going to happen. I do believe that this Cancelo will be around 500k if we get a card like that. So it's just tricky right now, guys, because the market is, of course, where it is this year. It's a lot lower this year. Um, and as you guys know, prices are just a lot lower on all different aspects. As I'm searching up Messi's card here, like a card like this Messi, I'm looking for the team of the tournament one. Uh, I mean, this guy was 2 million coins right after the World Cup. He's 1.7 mil right now. He's got the work rate change, the, the World Cup trophy. 
you guys know how cheap the market is. Like Gold Ronaldo and Gold Messi are, have basically been fodder for like a month now, and we're in January. So I just believe that this year, with the way everything looks, the team of the year is going to be one of the most affordable ever. Not saying it's going to be cheap because these are still, we're talking high 90 rated cards. We're talking big names like Mbappe, Messi, Benzema, and all that stuff. But I just feel like with the way the market is, and those prices that we just talked about, prices will be cheaper than last year, and I think we will see the cheapest team of the year ever. So hopefully, this video helps you out in determining maybe how many coins you might need to attain one of these team of the year cards. Best of luck opening packs during this period, and if you have any comments, drop them down below. If you have any questions, drop them down below. But of course, leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.